What is up, my beautiful ladies and sexy gentlemen? So, I am finally back with Skyrim. It's been a long time since I played it, like, since Christmas, when I had to deal with the creepy-ass Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, that was one of the weirdest memories I ever had. So, um, Lupa and Luna actually prepared a surprise for me. And they told me to close my eyes, like, I'm gonna do that pretty soon. <laughs> And uh, see what the hell they've been doing while I was gone. So I'm going to close my eyes. And when I open them up, we're going to be back in Skyrim. In three, two, one. Hey, Neptune. Hey, Lupa. Hey, Lupa. So you guys have heard a surprise for me, right? Okay. Oh, wait, there's two surprises now? Turn around. Is it dude? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you a beautiful man. All right, what's the next surprise? Look my left. Oh, oh wow, this is so pretty. Wait, can I go in there? Okay, uh, Neptune, you wait here with everybody. My gosh, so amazing. Oh, what's this? Is this like a load up? Oh, a wee. Oh, this is so cool. This has, what, what has a pretty statue? Oh, do I have to deal with the loading screen? Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, by the way, if it's lagging a little bit, then I'm sorry, it's probably just a mod. But look at this, it's so pretty. And there's a very, very lovely blue glitchy table. I love it. So we got a lovely pretty tree. Ooh la la, now this is where the sexy dinner comes around. Ah, Max! Is that, oh, there's that part of the house. Okay. Oh, this is a very lovely spot where you can sit down, have your lovely wine, read the book Fifty Shades of Grey or Twilight, whatever the heck you guys read. Uh, the fox is in the house. What should I do with it? Oh, it's fine? Okay. I wonder what this one is. Ooh! This is lovely. I love this. It's like, um, the enchanting, alchemy, a bunch of the magic shit just all together. So I didn't have to deal with loading screens? This is just fantastic. Oh, this must be my bedroom. Oh, this is awesome. I, I really love this. I think this should be an immediate harm. I just wish down the blue, like on these uh, display cases, like not there, but eh, it's okay. I, honestly, this is much better than the big castle because it's like full of like loading screens and a bunch of guards that won't leave you alone. But maybe I could make that castle like, um, like a vacation house or something, or maybe I could just um, let it be abandoned and get rid of it later. But really though, I love this house. This is fantastic. Okay, so um, first of all, we're just gonna get for the main story and get it out of the way. Cause I feel like um, you guys are probably gonna get so bored. So I'm gonna skip through some boring stuff and get straight to the very interesting stuff. So you guys will still watch this video and not and just leave to whatever. We'll just get straight into this and have some fun, shall we? Okay, so we talked to Agnar, and he said we gotta go to the College of Winterhold to get the answers for the Elder Scrolls. So I got my pretty unicorn out. Um, actually, I don't know your name. What should I name you? Mr. Unicorn? Bob. Okay, Bob. That sounds much better. <laughs> Bob the Unicorn. Perfect. Um, Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not... What? What? It's been a pleasure. What? Thought I heard something. What? Oh, what? Oh shit, the dragon. Are you kidding me? Welcome to the College of Winterhold. I am Feralda, one of the senior wizards. Hello. Would you gain entry to the Dragonborn? Dragonborn? It's been so long since we've had any contact with the Great Beards. Do you really have Oh yes, I have a voice! 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Boom! I'm a ghost now. So the stories are true. You are Dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and now I'm a ghost. To show some Boom. attitude with one of the schools of magic. But you, I think there is much that we can learn from each other. Mm? I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not here to join the, the another cult, whatever you guys are doing. I'm just here to get the scroll so I can get, get a freaking shout. So then I can get for all this crap. And beat Alduin. Fall in love happy ever after. And get married. And have a couple of kittens. I just stole a random ass cube and then I had to go over here. Now, okay. I pretty much uh, just got to the orc and he talks about this old guy who um, has something for the scroll. And I was supposed to be over here. And I was supposed to be at this place called the Black Reach. Okay, this plan's a bad idea. This sucks. This guy sucks so bad. Yeesh. Ow. Am I crouching still? What the sh. Okay. Okay. Kill him. Okay, go away. Piss off. Ouch. Alright, so these guys can have fun over there. Well, I'm gonna try and get to Black Reach now. Because this only took me a couple of minutes. Let's just get out of here. Oh boy. Alright. You guys just go away. You too. You go away. Bye bye. People. Sheesh. Alrighty, let's get this lovely little circle over here. Huh. Alright. Off to Black Reach and hopefully get that goddamn scroll. Hmm, this looks alright. The usual shit. And no, I'm not gonna do that crimson quest like over there. So, no. I'm gonna just sneak through all of this. Get that goddamn, uh, get the goddamn scroll so we can get through all of this crap. Okay, so I hear a little secret that uh, once you, um, boost your the bell over there, or whatever the heck that is, the dragon comes, so I'm gonna do that. And quickly jump off and run as fast as I freaking can. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I got no damage from falling because I was using the rocket boots and they got me to like no fall damage immediately. And it looks like this dragon's up to play, so I better run. Oh, goodbye. Run, run, run as fast as I can. You can't catch me. I'm a stupid Khajiit. Bye. Have fun with the dragon. Oh, shit. Looks like this guy's came to say hi. Hey, buddy, uh... Can we just, like, not fight and be friends? Oh, great. They can't even see me. I'm a sneaky pussy. Dun 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 Oh, there we go! Hello, buddy. Hello, da do da do da do da do ba la da do Bottom. Da -da 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 -ba -da. I wonder why I'm so slow. Oh no, maybe it's just me. Oh goody, some more boring stuff. Alright, I'm never gonna want to go into Black Reach ever again. You know what? I wanna hear how you guys are doing. Like, how are you? I know I've said this multiple times in most of the videos, but. I just love you guys. I really care for everybody, and I really want to know if they're all good, if they're sad, if they're grumpy, they're happy, or anything else. Because, because we're, we're sort of family, right? And I regret just taking those. Oh, nailed it! Freaking nailed it! All right, open this up. Finally, now get me the hell out of here. I'm so done with this. The Kel, yep. The Elder Scroll, 
I got it. Okay, so there is no question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Oh boy. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time womb. Just there? Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the sign. Okay, so just stand right here, and then what the heck is that? Whatever. And then read this bad boy. Whoa! Oh, read like right. All right, learn the dragon wrench shot from the Nord heroes. Oh, we're gonna watch a movie? God damn it! I should have brought some popcorn. Mm. Who am late? Running out of time. Battle. The Arsu Thursi Alduin Kree. Today Alduin's oh. lordship will There's be no restored. Chicken. Oh, there he is. But I honor your courage. Kree Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. <laughs> Woo! Go girl! Yeah, you get him. You go, girl. Hey, on. A glorious day, is it not? I like your armor. Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? Oh, boy. He is beyond our strength, which is why I brought the elders. Lalam. Well, dear, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed, and if you are right. I will not no, need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. Oh boy. Big boy incoming. Now where'd he go? Where is he? Where is the big black scary dragon? I never forgot about this joke. Oh, finally you're here. You took so long, other one, like five fucking hours. Let those that watch from Southern Guard envy us this day. There you go, there's a shout. Now, can I go home? No, the story's still going. It's daddy. My teeth. My rim will be free. Come on. Wait. No, not pretty girl. No. Oh, hello. I guess I better bring up the force. No, I think I'll get a proper sword. Alright, better shot. Shot, 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 shot. There it is. Come here. Yep, I get that. Uh... Oh, sh. Whoops. Sorry. Got him. There you go. I got a good dragon this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. You're staying here. Come back down here. Stupid lizard. I don't think so. You are staying over here. You're gonna get your ass kicked from my Anakin lightsaber, bitch. Yeah, uh, I got you. I got you. Oh, she's sending your meteors. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? 
I better keep dodging them. I don't want to die. Shit. Phew, thank God. Okay. How about you get the fuck out of here? I will outlast you, mortal. Bye bye. I need to find out where he went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince Alrighty. one of them to betray him. Perhaps the half Kossayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It that was originally a built idea, to house actually. a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? That could work. Alrighty. But he might not think so. Hmm. Yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Okay. I... Look, Thum. Alrighty, I guess, um... I better go speak to Wyvern guy then. Alright, I'll just say, bring your vi- Uh... What? Uh... Yeah? What? Nothing? Nothing? Just, uh... Continue on? Wait, were you coming out of y'all's room? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo! Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, and now you're... Another oh one. my god, Avinci. <laughs> Avicii, why are you wearing no pants next to the Jarl? Is there something going on? Hey? Is there going on between you two? And... Any other riff? Do you guys want me to explain about this? No? Alright then. Uh, hey, Jarl, how you doing? Hey there. Uh, I need your help to trap a dragon. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Uh, no, you're not deaf. Um, you know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? Well, it's the only way to uh, stop the dragon. Then yes! There must be another way. The risk is too great. Well, the fret is worse than you know. Alduin has a return, dumbass. Alduin, the world leader himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Uh. Uh. Hold up. It's only hopeless if we give up. I didn't say anything about giving mm? up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? All right, it's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn, and I will. But I need your help first. Okay. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Um, what if you don't have to worry about an enemy attack? Glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce oh, is sorry. difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Norse. Mm. I Hrothgar is neutral territory. If and I'm very neutral, honestly. I'm like, host a peace I'm not on anyone's side. I just want to be their friend. African Tullius would have to listen. Well, there you go. Leave that to me. I'll talk to you, Arnir, about hosting the Peace Council. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. There you go. I will. And, um, can you tell Avicii to put his pants on, please? Like, whatever you two going on over there. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Hey, Agnar. Can we organize a sleepover in High Rough Gar with um, the Imperial and Storm Cloaks, please? No. Please. No. Please. No. I'll get you some sweet rolls when we're done. Deliver the message to the warring parties. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's burned. Uh, uh, what the fuck is going on? 
hubris of the blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain, doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudge. Mm. The matter at hand is urgent. All do it must be. Please put on your clothes. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't. Agree. What is happening? Why is it a deal about the situation? And the threat that uh. all your poses to the You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, I'm there. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Well, don't worry. I'll get them to agree peace. Peace? I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodlet. They are not yet tired of war. But, but regrets up. Take your seat at the count. Uh, very well. You may enter. Well, let's go then, you two. Um, Delphine, I'm not even gonna ask, but I'm saying it now. Why the hell is S this guy here has no clothes? Like, why? First half of G was to get all jiggly with it with the Bogruff. And now Esper going all jiggly with Delphine. You didn't realize she's married, right? Okay, here we are, the beautiful council. Oh, and there's this bitch. I don't like her. Ugh. Um, I'm just going to be the first kitty to sit down. This council's going to be boring. Lovely. Ooh, you look beautiful. Hi, how you doing? Nerve of those imperial bastards, eh? Uh, to think that I would sit down at the same table with that Falmore bitch. Either she walks or I do. First turn of Falmore got me into trouble. So, uh, um. What's the harm? He doesn't want her here anyway. Oh no. Uh, yeah, get the fuck out. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Alfred. Enjoy your petty victory. Bye. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Ah, Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Sorry. Unlike your imperial friends here. This time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Thank you, naked this man. With you, Delphi. If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world leader. Even now he Thank you very much, you naked man. Fall. Please put on some pants, though. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Honestly, I listened to that naked man over there. General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Okay. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackfriar will become... Oh, I think I know her. Why would he come when called? <laughs> come when called. That's funny. And low to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to treat this guy. After your victory, your voice, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigation. I guess that can work. So what is this dragon's name? Ah. I'm no master, Mosh, like these learned gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oh, uh, 
Winged snow. Ooh, nice name. I like it. Oh! Hell yeah! I'll have to go save the world. Whoa. Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we do. What? And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. We have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guess what? Fuck you. Because I'm going to go save the world, and you can stay in that little temple weeping like a little bitch. Because Parthenax is my dragon daddy, and there's no way in hell I'm ever going to kill my dragon daddy. Okay, that sounds weird, but still, I ain't gonna kill him, so fuck you. And fuck you, naked old man, Esper, and wherever the hell you are. But thank you, though, for that shout. You're lovely. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, be sure to give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe if you're new here, and smack the notification bell right at the booty cheeks. I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>